From the 30th of May 2022, Greater Manchester's Clean Air Zone will be active. Designed to protect everybody's health by bringing harmful nitrogen dioxide air pollution at the roadside into legal limits as soon as possible. But what does that mean to you? The clean air zones will be controlled by 850 automatic number plate recognition cameras and 2000 signs will inform you of the zone. Private cars, mopeds and motorbikes will not be included in the zone and won't be affected. But every other non-compliant vehicle will be subject to a daily charge. Heavy goods vehicles and buses will pay £60 a day from the 30th of May 2022. And from the 1st of June 2023, coaches will also pay £60. Vans and other light goods vehicles and minibuses will pay £10 a day. For hackney cabs and private hire vehicles, the fee will be £7.50 from the 30th of May 2022. But a temporary exemption for most Greater Manchester licensed vehicles will be in effect until the 1st of June 2023. Motorhomes and camper vans will also pay a daily charge. But the date of introduction will depend on the tax class of the vehicle. To see how your vehicles will be affected, go to cleanairgm.com or gov.uk clean air zones, both in the links below. The Clean Air Zone Financial Support Scheme has been set up to provide £120 million of government funding to help eligible Greater Manchester businesses and organisations to switch to cleaner compliant vehicles helping people to either replace or retrofit non-compliant vehicles so they meet emission standards. Funding will initially be targeted to support smaller businesses, sole traders, the voluntary sector and private owners to upgrade their compliant vehicles. Financial support will be available as a lump sum grant contributing towards vehicle financing or a combination of the two. The amount of support available will depend on the type of vehicle and size. This map shows the Greater Manchester Clean Air Zone and the 152 stretches of road marked in red are those likely to have nitrogen dioxide levels in breach of the legal limit beyond 2020 if no action is taken. Air pollution in Greater Manchester affects the health of our communities and contributes to at least 1,200 early deaths in our region alone each year. It is linked to premature birth, low birth weight and miscarriage. It also worsens some health conditions, leading to flare-ups that trigger heart attacks and strokes. The government has instructed Greater Manchester and many other areas to develop Clean air plans to bring levels of harmful nitrogen dioxide on local roads to legal limits as soon as possible. Drivers could be exposed to far more air pollution than cyclists and pedestrians. The air you breathe inside your car can be far worse than the air outside. Your vehicle is surrounded by exhaust fumes from traffic, which you can breathe in as air filters do not always remove all the air pollution from the air that circulates. Cycling and walking is better for your health and fitness and you could be less exposed to air pollution than drivers. Even being a short distance away from traffic makes a difference. Greater Manchester has been promised 1.07 billion in the 2001 budget for the next generation of Metrolink tram train vehicles. New bus corridors at Berry and Ashton Underline. Greater Manchester's Mayor, Andy Burnham, has pledged to deliver a carbon neutral transport network. The scheme that would make buses 100% electric by 2031, with new bus corridors between Wigan and Bolton, Bury and Oldham, Oldham and Ashton and Salford and Media City. However, councillors are calling for more presence on Metrolink 
after a significant spike in knife crime and attacks. 233 incidents were reported on trams and buses in September, which is a 23% increase on antisocial behaviour and crime reported, compared to the same month in 2019. However, Head of Metrolink, Daniel Vaughan, told the Greater Manchester Transport Committee on the Friday the 12th of November the situation has stabilised. He told the committee that the Travel Safe Partnership, led by Transport for Greater Manchester and Greater Manchester Police, will continue to deal with antisocial behaviour on trams, buses and transport interchanges as they have before. He went on to say, What concerns me, the seriousness of the issues that were being reported, knife crime for example. We have very specific hotspots recently, which means a very specific focus. That's the difference of late. Metrolink's usage remains low, at only 70%, compared to pre-pandemic levels.